I will preface this video by saying that I will not be getting into specifics about the incident that happened because those responsible are taking the steps in order to fix the problem. This video is not to create enemies, it's not to incite anger at those responsible, but it is to tell you that you have it in you to make a difference in your community with the art of angry but civil letters. Good afternoon, everyone. They say that the pen is mightier than the sword. Not the angry YouTube expose, not the hatred-ridden Facebook status, but the pen. However, it can only be mightier than the sword if what you write with it comes from a pure heart with good intentions. Otherwise, it's just as bad as the angry YouTube video or Facebook status. You might say, why would I write a letter? Nobody writes letters anymore. Well, I argue that in 2019, letters, handwritten letters, have more power today than they have ever had. Especially, exactly because they are so rare. To use economic terms, the supply is so low that their value is so high. Writing a letter implies that you have taken the time out of your day to show that you care. To show that you care and you really want people or group to make a change. It is very powerful. <laughs> and additionally, it's a handwritten letter. These don't exist anymore. The people that receive the letter, they have to read it. <laughs> They have to read a handwritten letter. If they don't, they're an asshole. <laughs> Here's the gist of what happened. Here's the reason why this video exists. About a week ago, someone showed on social media that a group that I wholeheartedly support did something that they shouldn't have and it got plenty of people upset. It got me upset to the point where I wanted to write a letter to express my concerns and tell them, hey, well, maybe if you did this, you could fix this problem and it won't cost you anything at all. So I wrote the letter, put it in an envelope, mailed it. Fast forward to last weekend and I'm at the old former county courthouse that I mentioned in the the previous Benjamin Franklin video and almost as if by divine intervention the leader of the group whom I addressed it to shows up she somehow recognized me introduced herself and said hey um I'm so and so uh, thank you for being, thank you for supporting us. We read your letter and we're taking the steps to fix the problem. Beautiful. Wonderful. I appreciated that chat coming from her. She was very professional. She was very polite. We buried the hatchet and she and I are cool now. <laughs> but it was because of the way I wrote the letter and possibly many others also expressing their concerns that got things done. I don't know if I'm the only one that wrote, that had wrote a letter, but it must have stood out. It must have stood out and that is why she stepped up to introduce herself. So what could you do if there's something wrong in your community and you want to fix it? <laughs> well, the first step, it's optional, but strongly encouraged buy some dank stationery. <laughs> you could get some at your local office supply store, but the one from the ones that they have there are probably up par up priced, probably more expensive than they should be. So don't be afraid to use the internet to browse some options. Doesn't have to be the fanciest, but just don't have it be computer paper. <laughs> Step 2 is to find a good pen. Now, I'm a, uh, we'll get to this in a bit, I'm a frugal guy, but 
desperate times call for desperate measures, and I bought myself a fountain pen. <laughs> My birthday was coming up, so it was an early birthday gift. I swear to only use this for writing angry letters. <laughs> now, before you even put this on this, you gotta make sure it's written correctly. Write your rough draft on Microsoft Word. If you have Grammarly, use that too. That way, you know that every word is correct, that you have no grammar errors, and you can simply copy it over to this, to make sure that you deliver your message in the best possible way. Now, you could have the letter that is perfectly spelled with perfect grammar, but if it's angry, if you get personal with it, nothing will get done. Like I said, you must write it with a good heart. You must write it with pure intentions. You gotta focus on the sins, not the sinners. You have to focus on the actions they did and what they can do to fix them in, in a way that's convenient, of low to no cost, and of low to no effort. They must be incentivized to fix the problem. And nobody likes to work hard. <laughs> it's true, no one likes to work hard. You, you must persuade them that it's in their self-interest to fix the problem in a way that's of little to no effort and cost to them. That being said, your letter must have three parts. The first part must be your intro, where you introduce yourself and say why you... and just say that you're a little upset. The second part, the body, should mention the reasons as to why you're upset. This happened, this happened, that happened. The third part, the conclusion, is where you offer a low to no effort solution to the problem and you finalize the letter with a wish, hoping that everything turns out all right. See, that way there are no hard feelings, you express your concerns, you focus on actions, and actions can be fixed. People are harder to fix. <laughs> That's why you want to focus on the actions. Here's my example. I will omit or change some of the words. Dear the group I'm talking about, I am a frugal man. I never spend money unless I need to, but I recently donated $100 to be one of your patrons because I sincerely care about cause, the cause. Now I'm thinking the money was a mistake. <laughs> it has come to my attention that blah, 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 your folk action, action, action. Conclusion, I'm not asking for a refund. I'm asking to make things right. If you rally up a dozen volunteers and train them on how to fix the issue, I'm convinced that people will gladly assist you in bringing some much needed organization for free. I know I would and I know many others would too. Regardless if it comes from volunteers or your staff, I hope that a solution is achieved to the issue. Take care, Gilbert. Um, additionally, you might want to look up some videos or some guides as to how to write letters. <laughs> the kind that they showed you in elementary school <laughs> if you're mid-twenties or younger. <laughs> I don't know if, I don't know if uh, Generation Z is also trained to write letters, but I remember that they showed us how to, how to write letters in elementary school. But yeah, it's, there's something powerful, there's something nostalgic. There's something nostalgic about letters that really hits home to people that are uh, Gen X, baby boomers, people like that. And as millennials, Gen Z gets older, I really hope that the effect is preserved, if not made stronger, because a well-written letter can change the world. Have a good one, take care, kick ass.